they're very worried about recessions and slowdowns as well as high inflation and geopolitics, but they are looking forward to growth and they certainly have plans in terms of expansion and also investments and in innovation to, to make sure that they do grow over the next year. Now, what are what are their biggest worries? I know recession, inflation. I mean, are they ready for it? How are they preparing? Well, the interesting thing is that given those two things that they're very, very worried about, they are not prepared to deal with another crisis having to do with a recession or high inflation. They're also very worried about labor shortages and geopolitical risks, including wars. And for most of those things, they are not really ready. But they are thinking about, well, how do we push through despite these very high risks? And certainly when it comes to labor shortages, they're looking at attracting and, and, and retaining top talent. So that includes things like investing in their talent, AI, upskilling and retraining. So they're certainly trying to find their way through the fog. Uh, what is it that backs up those views? Is it anecdotal evidence? Is it sales figures? I mean, what, they have to be gloomy for a reason, right? Well, CEOs are notorious for looking ahead and looking down the road. And certainly, it's also going to be colored by recent experience. Certainly in recent experience, they've seen major increases in input costs. And certainly, that includes higher interest rates. The cost of capital is elevated. And all that feeds into inflation. They've seen around the world, China slowing, Europe is slowing, a number of conflicts are causing disruptions in production and trade and investments. And all those things have gotten them very worried. So with all these negative things that, that, that we're hearing, how do they even plan to grow profits in, in 2024? Well, they're looking at expansion. So expansion means looking at new regions and, and, and countries to invest in, new lines of business, looking at new products and new services, and also using tools like AI to really enhance the performance of their businesses and also their workers. And they think all of this is going to be great for not only cutting costs and, and driving the bottom line, but also increasing profits. Well, wait a second, if they're um, worried about labor and they want to hold on to their workers and top talent, are they paying them more? I mean, is that an inflationary picture we're looking at? Well, certainly when we look at the BLS data, Yes, in those industries that are suffering from labor shortages, they are paying their workers more. And also those industries where they're worried about people quitting or a lot of people are retiring, they are raising wages. But again, that's very costly. So businesses are trying to find ways around that. And a lot of that's through digital transformation and technology.